have two points plotted on a Cartesian coordinate diagram, it is often the case that we will want to find the length of the line segment joining the two points. We call that the distance between the two points. In order to calculate the distance between the two points, we first inspect the x distance. That is the distance from the first x coordinate to the second x coordinate, which we can think of as simply being the horizontal. We then, as you would expect, inspect the y distance. How far is it from one y coordinate to the other? In this diagram, we can see that from negative 1 to 11 is a full distance of 12, and from 2 up to 7 is a total distance of 5. So we have a right angle triangle with sides 12, 5, and the D for distance is the hypotenuse. Hopefully you've spotted that the way we calculate the distance between the two points is by Pythagoras' theorem. And so the distance between the two points in this case is 13 units. So our subheading will be distance between two points. Distance between two points. And as you know, this is really just going to be a Pythagoras example. Now you will only get one mark for Pythagoras at higher maths. Um, so don't be too pedantic about writing out every single stage of the work and if you're confident you can do it mentally. So we're going to say this. To find the distance between two points, we construct A right angle triangle and use Pythagoras theorem. And that's Pythagoras with an apostrophe after it, theorem. He might not have actually come up with it, but he's claimed it. So we're going to build a right angle triangle and use Pythagoras theorem, right? So we'll just do a wee EG for this because it's quite fast. So let's say EG, we're given the two points 3, negative 7 and 5, 2. Now in the example I mentioned before, it worked out beautifully as 13 units. They don't always do that. And this one doesn't. So, as I mentioned, we'll talk about the x distance. Now that is the distance from 3 to 5. So from 3 to 5, it is a distance of 2. I'm going to mark that on there. And then I want the distance from negative 7 up to 2. So if you imagine on your number line, you're all the way down at negative 7, and you want to get up to 2, how big is that distance in total? It's going to be 9. So that distance there will be 9 units. That allows me to construct a right angle triangle. Now the drawing doesn't have to be to scale, but I'm going to do it roughly to scale because it's a bit more pleasing if you do that. So the x distance is 2, the y distance is 9. Make sure you put your right angle on there. Horizontal distance is 2, that's the distance between the two x's. Distance between the two y's is 9, and we'll call this d for distance. So to find the distance between those two points, I am going to write d squared equals 9 squared add 2 squared. It's 81 add 4, which is 85. So the distance will be root 85. Now root 85 is not a sword that simplifies. You do have the option to simplify it down to 9.2 units if you've got a calculator, but I'm quite happy with it to be root 85 units as an exact value.